Hey guys, Hark49 here. Yeah, it's been a while, baby. Yeah, I know it'll be for you. You might think why I'm like, like this. Well, it's one for all. Well, I've seen the background. I'm watching Eric. I'm, first of all, the background. Like, what is that? Oh, it's delicious. I reviewed this very. Not reviewed this movie, but I reviewed it. Happened to watch it. I'm gonna watch it. And I'll tell you that why I'm gonna watch it in a little bit, but. You know? Anyway, so. Uh, yes, I have. I'm not sure if I unboxed it. Not in unboxed it, but anyway, yeah, I, I have saw the, the brand name of Flash Psycho, which is really not the first Psycho movie. It's pretty much um, a month late. I know, right? It came out on June 1960, I believe. In, in yeah, 1960, and the, um, P.P. Tom came out May 19th. It's kind of like a month late. Right? And everyone knows the movie knows, like, Norman Bates, you know, he's a killer, he's still his mom, so. Hey, look at me, uh, maybe I'm still with my mom, because we. Anyway. Good movie. It's not the first Flash film in the series, second, but it's considered as the star of Flash, how, Af Af how Alfred Hitchcock did suspend the grip in the Oscar. It was a great movie. It's probably the shortest credits at the end of that I've ever seen any movie so far. And, certainly. Well, um, at my local FYE store, not really local, it's in like the town over. Because the one by me, it was actually that. Not really, actually, it's just a close one. I actually one in the mall. At my little book mall. Which is pretty good. Like, I mean, it's pretty much way in. But this is really, I don't really know what that one, but I didn't know about it all the time, so anyway. So, it's a good movie. Good movie, um. Very good. I recommend it highly if you're a slasher fan, fanatic like me. It's a hard movie, it's a full bunch of Psychological, which are my second favorite. Survival is my third. No types of one. But my favorite will always be Slashers. Slashers like Chucky, Michael, Freddy, Letterface, all types of stuff. Anyway, so yesterday I went to the, um, it's a 7 Eleven because a couple weeks ago I went there I saw a great horror movie I saw for 5 bucks. 5 bucks is just easy because my whole store has $10. So, man, I'm not sure I should like it, but I kind of enjoyed the film. I watched it last night and watched it weekend. And this is the reason why I'm watching, um, Exorcist. And, here it is. The Omen 2006 remake. Alright, let me make something clear. I did not see the um, um, the original, so I really can't say it's better than the original. But I never saw the original. But since I saw the remake, I'm kind of enjoyed. But I saw it before on TV before I cut parts of it. But I realized that the part I saw on TV was what the ending happened when he finds um his dad's baby born in the grave and the mom. So I pretty much missed out on the entire movie, and I and I rewatched it. And I pretty much enjoy it, but it's true that people say. The movie was kind of like, the cameras do like an ass view, it's kind of cool, but then like, it, 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 it's scary. I watched it like close to it. And at 11, my wife was watching it, and I was watching the research, and I had a cold thrill up my right arm, and I feel really kind of freaked out from watching it. But there's a special feature called, um, um, The Revelation of 666, which is the Devil's Beast number, and it was pretty cool. It was pretty, it's pretty like creepy out. And I thought like, extended like, scene. Extended? And why didn't realize that? The extended scene, um, well, one is about the guy getting his head cut off and kind of like still a show more blood head. And there's and there's a turning where um, the father gets shot down like so many times. And it, it's kind of stupid why they kill him because they should like, the shot, you're supposed to like drop the knife, but like they didn't attack anybody, they just drop the knife. They just shot him all on site. You can't do that if you're a cop or swap. You just they drop it and he was last resort. And that was not resort. And also, um, um, when, uh, uh, I'm sure I'm seeing them now, but um, it's kind of spoil if you didn't. But um, when it shows the priest getting killed in the in the in the movie, it's like oh cool, like but when you watch the when you watch the extended version of it, it's so much like graphical. It's like wow, you can't show that ideas, man. You get fucking super like, capitalist and stuff. But overall, it, it was the um, it's, it's a good movie. I recommend it highly. I recommend this highly. This and this. I recommend it highly, bum. I'm not kidding. I heard, I, but I have heard from people online that the original one was way superior than the, this one. But and I also heard that this is not a um shot for shot remake of Psycho remake, but it's kind of like it in a similar way, but not really, but a little bit like it. But um, I will say I'm gonna tell this one. I have that I'm gonna see the original Omen, and I'm gonna see if I like it or not. And I'm not gonna see the entire series. It's series, but it seems why I won't see the extra series and the cycle series. Because in, they're not like Michael Myers and Freddy and Chucky which watch. They're not like that. It's just the original is just the best and and like it, first of all, after Chuck he didn't want a sequel to Psycho and once he died it still once he died. So really that can't rewatch that because he really he only wanted. Extra however, 
same thing. They don't want to do it again, but they got they want to do it for money. So yeah, and it kind of sucks. I'm not gonna watch it. And for Omen's sake, none of none of the only original actors turn in the sequel except for one. I think I'm not sure which one is, but one returns. I'm like, so wait, you're going to the Omen. You're not have the same actor who played Damien in the first film. He knows stuff now. He did it in the first film. You're not having to have a different actor play him. I was like, I think on Halloween 2, when um, Rob Zombie, he um, he got rid of the the, Michael, the young Michael Myers actor, Doug, for a new one because he was too old. Are you stupid? He knows the Michael Myers. He played the killing work. He knows what he's doing it. He knows it completely. He was more better than the Halloween 2 with the young Michael Myers, which I don't know. Thing. And um, I realized that that's like his first movie. I mean, well, he, he probably actually probably needs some action. No, he's not. That's his first film. It's his first film he had in it. His first film. He got lucky. The reason he got the role because, well, that was too old. Just that's pretty much now, um, that's just my video. So, um, this is a good, great movie, um, pretty good, pretty good movie, um, you know, you see it, watch it. And I, like, and I also heard that, um, well, um, that the Omen, that this movie is not for, if you the original, the remake is not for that, it's for people who didn't see the original. Which I did not see the original, so there we go. But I will see the original because I love horror classics and it's just too fun. And the only thing that I have down to why that every every person who does horror movies has is the Mother Madness Baby Chan. So I hope it's the Omen because he had the Exorcist, Halloween, Chippendale, like all the good horror films, but no Omen. Like, are you serious? That's one scary movie to remain, and and and, and you're not gonna have that. I, I hope he does though. Well, that's it for now. I'm just gonna see you watching the exorcist in the back. Right there. Yeah, I go to the church. Then come back, watch the omen. Push the matchbox. And that's pretty much it. So, peace for Harvard 49. Have a good day. And that's what you're now. And next review, in my next review, will probably be Halloween 4. If I, I have, well, I have bought and I watched it. So, yeah, I've had, and, and um, and I can't believe it. It's summer's almost over, and I knew, and I didn't get, and I didn't get a chance to finish the um, chocolate game. We have part two already filmed up, but we didn't. Need to, we need to open it yet. We have it filmed already. I hope so. I told my friend Tony didn't delete it, but we have uploaded. We have everything ready to go yet. Part two, part three is probably gonna be um, not the last part. Four double. Part three, cause I want part three to be on um, me in the asylum, breaking out, going to St. Andy. Well, not, not Andy. So I, I can't. I can't remember his name anymore. It's been that long, and um, that'd be the two sitting there. But that's it for now. Uh, and and my tip is straight, man. I told you more views that, but I, I couldn't really do it because the chunky movie I did, I actually had like very, a very good. I wanted to use doll more in this one, and I don't remember which one was going to be typically with Chucky, but I see what Tiffany doll. No one do Tiffany videos. What about Chucky and Glenn fighting sure Chucky by himself? So, you know. That's what you're talking about. So cool. You give me credit. I did a tip video. I'll probably make another one, but I don't know when. But that's it. For, that's it. Until now. Until then. Star 45. Remember. Watch Harmood in the middle of the night. Do it. And I'm. And I might see Dom. Possession this Tuesday. I'm not sure. I might see it. Well, that's it. Bye.